dimphyl mercury 2 hg is an organomercury compound. This colorless liquid is one of the strongest known neurotoxins. It is described as having a slightly sweet smell, although inhaling enough vapor to detect its odor would be hazardous. Synthesis, structure, reactions, the compound was one of the earliest organometallics reported, reflecting its considerable stability. It is formed by treating sodium amalgam with methyl halides, Hg plus 2 Na plus 2 CH3 ILHG, CH3, 2 plus 2 Na I. It can also be obtained by alkylation of mercuric chloride with methyl lithium, HgCl2 plus 2 Li CH3 LHG, CH3, 2 plus 2 Li Cl. The molecule adopts a linear structure with HgC bond lengths of 2.083 A. Equals reactions equals. The most striking feature of the compound is its known reactivity toward water, whereas the corresponding organ cadmium and again a zinc compounds hydrolyze rapidly. The difference reflects the low affinity of Hg, 2, for oxygen ligands. The compound reacts with mercuric chloride to give the mixed chloromethyl compound, CH3, 2 hectograms plus HgCl2 or 2 CH3 HgCl. Whereas dimphyl mercury is a volatile liquid, CH3HGCl is a crystalline solid. Use Dimphyl mercury currently has almost no applications because of the risks involved. As with many methyl organometallics, it is a methylating agent that can donate its methyl groups to an organic molecule. However, the development of less acutely toxic nucleophiles such as dimethyl zinc and trimethyl aluminium, and the subsequent introduction of grinard reagents, has essentially rendered this compound obsolete in organic chemistry. It was formally studied for reactions in which the mercury cation was bonded to the target molecule, forming potent bactericides. However, the bioaccumulation and ultimate toxicity of mercury has largely led it to be abandoned for this purpose in favor of the related mercury cation, which perform a similar function without the bioaccumulation hazard. In toxicology, it was formerly used as a reference toxin. It has also been used to calibrate NMR instruments for detection of mercury, although less toxic mercury salts are preferred. Safety Dimphyl mercury is extremely toxic and dangerous to handle. Absorption of doses as low as 0.1 ml can result in severe mercury poisoning. The risks are enhanced because of the high vapor pressure of the liquid. Dimphyl mercury passes through latex, PVC, butyl, and neoprene within seconds, and is very quickly absorbed through the skin. Due to its chemical nature, it carries with it a high aptitude for its effortless ability to pass through the same safety equipment and barriers that prevent lab accidents such as direct bodily contact that have proved to be adequate protection for a majority of laboratory chemical substances. Therefore, due to its high efficiency in penetrating skin barriers, the most common gloves used in a majority of laboratories and or clinical settings do not provide adequate protection from dimphyl mercury. It's widely understood and accepted that the only safe precaution is to handle dimphyl mercury while wearing highly resistant laminated gloves. Adding long cuffed neoprene or other heavy duty gloves over the first pair. Also indicated when handling this highly dangerous substance, is the consistent use of a long face shield, added to the safety measure of working under a fume hood. Dimphyl mercury crosses the blood or euro brain barrier easily, probably owing to formation of a complex with cystine. It is eliminated from the organism slowly, and therefore has a tendency to bioaccumulate. The symptoms of poisoning may be delayed by months, resulting in many cases in which a diagnosis was ultimately discovered, but only at the point in which it is often too late for an effective treatment regimen to be successful. The toxicity of dimphyl mercury was highlighted with the death of the inorganic chemist Karen Wetterhahn of Dartmouth College in 1997. After spilling no more than a few drops of this compound on her latex glove, the barrier was immediately compromised and within seconds it was absorbed into the back of her hand, quickly circulating and resulting in her death ten months later. See also, diethyl mercury, mercury poisoning, Karen Wetterhahn, Manamata disease, methyl mercury, cyclopentadienyl nickel nitrosyl. References External links, ATSDR, TOX fax, mercury, ATSDR, 
Public Health Statement, Mercury, ATSDR, Alert. Patterns of Metallic Mercury Exposure, 697, ATSDR, MMG, Mercury, ATSDR, Toxicological Profile, Mercury, National Pollutant Inventory, Mercury and Compounds Fact Sheet.